and hello everyone welcome back to another NIM tutorial in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at for loops so a for loop is very similar to a while loop in a sense that it loops over code multiple times however they usually are more helpful in other scenarios other than uh, checking if something is still true and then cancelling out later such as let's create a variable friends that should be a variable not that and that can be a sequence of names so jack nick lucas paul and jesse now the nice thing about a for loop is let's say uh, i just want to get my friends and i run this and it gives me my friends in the form of a sequence now let's say for each friend I want to get the index that they are in inside of this array or inside of the sequence. And I also want to get the name and then display it to the screen. Now for loops make this very easy by allowing us to go for, get the index, get the friend we are looking for, in and then the array or sequence we want to go through. And here we can just echo friend we can put the index in there, so let's say it is friend zero, colon, and then we can print out the friend. So this will get the index, so zero, one, two, three, the index, and this will get the actual piece of text in here. This could be a number or whatever, but in this case, it's a piece of text, so it will get Jack, Nick, Lucas, and Paul. And then for each person or each friend inside of this sequence, we are going to run this command or run this statement here. If we run this, We'll get friend zero is Jack, friend one is Nick, friend two is Lucas, friend three is Paul, and friend four is Jesse. So just as you can see here. So it allows us to loop through things. Of course, you could always uh, just exclude index because I know sometimes you just don't want to use index. Now you can just say for a friend inside of our friends list here, we can just go friend, colon, and then friend. We do that, we get friend, Jack, Nick, Lucas, Paul, and Jesse. Now for loop is of course a little bit more useful than just looping through a list of things, such as you can go for a number in the numbers values one to five. So it will loop through the numbers one to five. If I say echo num, we will get all the way from one to five. Very, very simple. If you want to make it go from one to the number right before five or the number right before this value here, you can do this. This means go from one to four, or if I did this, one to five. It's up to you which you prefer. If you didn't run it, then there we go. This is useful for, let's say you are reading from a text file and you want to get all of the lines before the very last line then this can be very useful. You can also count with it. So let's say count, and here we can go count up or count down. We'll look at both. One, ten, two. And we can just say count. Now if we run this, we'll get from one to ten, but in steps of two. So this will just count up from one to ten in steps of two. Count down will do exactly the same thing. So count down but then you just need to go 10 to 1 instead of 1 to 10 and this field right there is optional so you don't need it you can remove it and both count up and count down and now it will count downwards it's also useful if you want to just in general count things such as let's say variable lc for letter count and that can be zero then you can say for letter in, and then if we can put a string here, and then we'll go through each and every letter in the string. Hello world. And in here we can say if the letter is equal to O, then LC plus equal one. And you can go echo LC. This also shows you, and it should be a single quote because that's a character, not a string. Now this shows you that you can also put normal things in here, just like with a while loop. This isn't limited to anything. You can still put any normal name code in here, but it will just do it for each letter inside of this 
string. Now if we run this, we'll of course get two. Because there are two literals in here. For loops are incredibly simple. Unlike while loops that you will need to tell it when to stop, for loops generally have a know-how of when to stop. Because you can put a value in here that will have a set length and it will go up until the end of that value's length. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next NEM tutorial.